Today I wanted to show you a knife I just got. It's the Benchmade 319 and it's P-R-O-P-E-R. -E I'm just going to say it's Proper. I'm sure that's wrong. There's probably some other name for it. Anyway, the reason this knife is kind of neat is because it was uh, Benchmade's first ever slip joint, at least to my knowledge. And um, this is one of the ones with the red G10 handle. And it is number 295 out of 1,000. So just to kind of give you an overview of uh, what um, some of the specs on this knife. It has a 2.86 inch blade made of S30V. It's a modified uh, sheep's foot blade that you can see there. Uh, and they harden it to about 58 to 60 on the RC scale. The whole knife weighs about 2.3 ounces. The thickness of the blade um, this way is 0.09 inches. Nice thin profile, flat grind you can see. Overall length when it's opened is eight, uh, 6.86 inches. Um, the handle length is 3.85 inches. And the handle thickness this way is uh, 0.4 inches. Now that we've got the boring stuff out of the way, uh, I'll tell you a little bit about it and some of the things that I thought were kind of neat. If you look um, all the way from the tip all the way back, except for this little bit of a flat area there, it's a nice continuous curve. And I did not appreciate that looking at some of the pictures online. The other thing I would say is that I purchased this uh, retail. Uh, nobody gives me knives, and if they did give me a knife, I wouldn't put up a video of it. I only, that's why I do so few of these knife videos is because uh, there's very few things that catch my interest enough to buy them and this was one of them. Another somewhat interesting thing is this is a current uh, 2017 Benchmade catalog and I do not see anywhere the uh, 319 listed as a knife that they're going to be selling so maybe this was uh, something that didn't quite make it into the catalog at first um, but here it is in hand Aside from, you know, just basically doing an overview here, I'm not going to do a review because I haven't carried it at all yet. Uh, and I don't like doing reviews. Um, it's kind of presumptuous to me. Um, but I want to show you something. This is really cool. It's really, really crisp opening it and stuff. Really nice. It feels really solid. And the cool thing about Benchmade knives... Uh, is that I've never bought one that disappointed me. So um, just, just so you have a little better uh, comparison size-wise here, I'm going to show you some of the other knives that I carry a lot. Um, this is a Benchmade, I think it's a 940. Um, this is one of my favorites. Obviously this has an axis lock, but uh, overall length, the uh, proper is shorter. Weight-wise, because this is carbon fiber, they feel about the same to me. I mean, I'd have to check on that. But then the closed, you can see, um, again, shorter. Of course, you don't have a pocket clip on here. This is meant to be more of a pocket carry. And the the profile on the 940 is a little bit thicker. Another one of my favorite knives uh, that I carry a lot is this. This is a Kershaw Random Task in left hand, one of the originals. Um, don't see too many of those. And I bought that right when it came out and size comparison so the random task is uh, bigger overall length bigger blade um, but I carry it a lot it's also um, closed bigger which of course you would expect that but then uh, again a wider handle um, on the random task now one of my current like almost everyday carry knives is kind of along the same lines. This is the Spyderco Rhodey, and I've done a video on that. Um, you can find it somewhere. Rhodey is smaller. It's lighter weight, and it's narrower, and these things really disappear into your pocket. But notice it's kind of got that same, uh, like, modified um, sheep's foot shape. Uh, the, the Proper is a bigger knife uh, in just about every way. In fact, the handle is almost as long as the roadie, uh, but I've found this roadie to just be a fantastic little knife. If you don't have one, you owe it to yourself to get one. Um, the proper 
I'm gonna carry it for a while, have it in my pocket. Um, I already know I like it, otherwise I wouldn't have bought it. Uh, here's another one, this is a Spyderco Paramilitary 2, kind of an apples and oranges comparison as you can see, but just, just kind of trying to give you an overview or idea of how big these this knife is compared to some other knives and, and some ones that I carry quite a bit. Uh, here it is next to a Victorinox Spartan. Obviously different, completely different class of knife uh, with a completely different idea behind it, but this is one that I carry a lot as well. And finally, my all-time favorite slip joint pattern, the uh, Case Elephant Toe, beautiful knife. Uh, the, the proper is going to be smaller and lighter weight and have a narrower uh, handle. Anyway, uh, hopefully you got something out of that. Uh, this is going to be in my pocket quite a bit. And thanks so much to Benchmade for making it. Uh, I've been looking for something like this out of them for a while. Thanks for watching.